FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. KJ. Keep it here. You found the Black Sphere. The Black Sphere. You know, Catherine Hannaway was on earlier today as a former Missouri U.S. attorney saying, this special prosecutor thing is a no-brainer. we got to do this. You mean for Hillary Clinton? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, man. Look, that, that found every day we learn more and more about these, these crooked people. Now, we as conservatives have known it. What we're trying to do is explain this to the brain-dead liberals out there that occasionally uh, let some good thought leak through. And, and, you know, they're still running, you know, there are people, oh, well, Trump is still far worse. And you're going, really? How so? <laughs> give, give me one example of right. how Trump would be worse than somebody who's hiding her server in her bathroom, and then we uncover all the things that she was doing. Fifty percent of Hillary Clinton's meetings at the State Department were from whom, Jamie? Clinton Foundation fat cat donors. But you know what? So what? There's 20 buzzards circling above. There still may not be a carcass out there, right? The, the fact is these people are they're, they're scurrilous, they're scandalous, and anybody that votes for Hillary Clinton is essentially saying, I don't give a crap about law and order, I don't give a crap about the Constitution, I don't give a crap that the, the elitists are running this country, that there's two sets of rules that apply to human beings. There's the sodomites, and then there's the people that sit on top in the ivory tower. And if they can rationalize that, fine. But, but I, I tell people all the time, don't allow these folks to get away with this. You tell them, if you, you're just voting for the most crooked person on the planet because you're a brain-dead moron. End of story. And number two, don't let them ever call you a racist again. If, no matter what a Democrat says to you, just call them a racist. Just say, shut up, racist. Yeah. yeah. And it, well, here's the thing, though. It's, it's so debilitating and frustrating because apparently the Hillary Clinton supporters accept a certain level of corruption. Like, for instance, they assume that this is kind of, as the, to use the colloquialism, kind of baked into the cake already. And so what's another email scandal? What's another Clinton Foundation scandal? Who cares? Well, they've been, tra- they've been trained to believe that it's all a big conspiracy. Now, this big conspiracy isn't people planting emails on Hillary's server. Nobody hid the server in her bathroom closet or whatever. Nobody set those meetings up at the State Department and, and made sure that when a big donor wanted to get to her through the non-traditional channels they could she did all of this but it's still a big conspiracy but i got to tell you horrible week for her including her health issue becoming mainstream and you probably talked about the jimmy kimmel let me open the pickle jar thing yeah yeah just the fact that that's the that's the level of that's the standard for the left for them to say well look she opened the pickle jar she must be okay (laughs) i mean that's the type of logic they use it doesn't matter that she was looking for some drug that, that dealt with epilepsy or seizures or or parkinson's or whatever that we found through her emails it doesn't matter that they have evidence of having to carry her fat buttocks up the staircase or they're holding her up or propping her up with pillows or her dramatic weight gain forget all that that's the uh, that's the stuff that the right-wing conspiracy is setting about but here's what's cool we're talking about it they're talking about what when the democrats start to go oh we've got to defend it you know you're on to something what did they do with the clinton foundation jamie hey look after hillary's elected here's what we're going to do we're going to stop doing all our illegal stuff here's the thing though yeah right elect put us in the white house and we'll stop uh, we'll stop committing crimes that's, that's right. fantastic but here's the thing too even when it came to the pickle jar in my opinion they lied I can't even open a pickle jar without hitting the bottom, right? No, without, with, no, without taking a knife to the end, the other end of the knife, and pounding on the top, so you know somebody. Because, because I'm telling you, there's not a person on earth who can open a pickle jar uh, raw like that. Well, I can open a pickle jar raw. <laughs> no, you can't. But, but look, the the point is it, that whatever the ba- that's not the boundary of uh, the standard of are you healthy, right? And the fact that it was a, such a setup. You know, you, you can tell that it, it was a rehearsed thing with Kimmel. We're going to talk about your health. We're going to make you look healthy, look good. And by the way, Kimmel's not even a real liberal. So for him to go for this gag, I thought was kind yeah. of, uh, you know, it was a little bit un- unorthodox. But at the end of the day, the, what I'm telling you is we're talking about this issue. It's mainstream, and it's mainstream for a reason. Hillary Clinton is sick. The reason why the Clinton stuff is mainstream, the foundation, is because Hillary Clinton really did what she did. The reason why now we're going to reopen these investigations, and this is going to dog her until she finally loses for for the second time, is because it's real. These are not feigned up, made up things. And by the way, for the leftists listening to this program, if this were Donald Trump, 
that had done any of this or any other candidate, I would be just as outraged as I am right now about Hillary Clinton. That's the beauty of being conservatives is we don't care. If Trump needed help getting dragged upstairs, I'd be questioning his health. If he was Googling drugs to make him, make him look like he wasn't falling asleep, non-epileptic or, or you know, narcoleptic yeah. drugs, I would be telling you, look, this guy may not be capable of running or being president, but the left will cover and cover and cover. They would put a brain-dead Hitler version of the devil in the White House as long as he's got a D after his name. You can open that pickle jar because you buy the cheap pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I buy ghetto pickles, you, you, man. You, you know, buy those all, they don't you close that them. jar. They, they send them the, the jars that have been opened by white people to the you, ghetto you, store. You, you, get, you get your pickles at Aldi's. So, no. Uh, <laughs> hey, no, he just lost a sponsor. I know. <laughs> no, when I was a kid, because Aldi's, by the way, I'd hate to, I hate to go off rail here, but used to be when we were kids, you know, Aldi's had a different reputation. Because when I was a kid, it used to be an insult. We'd say, your mama shop at Aldi's. Now See, I never heard I never heard of all these. Now, but, yeah, yeah. Until I moved here, I'd never heard of all these. It's huge. Oh yeah. Europe, but I'm proud to tell you, I do shop at all. All these have some pretty good. They, they got the best stuff. produce you're going to find anywhere. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I agree. They they've got the best produce, and in some cases, the best meat. Oh, I don't know how much meat I get there, but I, look, I went to get chicken the other day from the grocery store. When did chicken become steak? I'm just curious. I was buying chicken uh, just regular. It was like five bucks to fifteen bucks a package, and I'm thinking you got to be kidding me. I remember when hamburger meat. I was I was complaining about that. The price of stuff has gone through the roof. But these people tell us the economy is good. By the way, I was on a uh, Fox talking about the the issues around. Uh, you know, the, the, now they're, they're, with Trump appealing to black folks, they're saying, oh, well, black people are doing pretty well. I don't know why Trump is talking all about black people. It's really funny to me, Jamie, how blacks, when, they're talk, when, you, when the outreach occurs from our side, they're like, well, we're doing pretty good. But when it's something that they're talking about from the left, they're like, oh, black people are victims. They can't have their cake and eat it, too. And that's what they're doing with Trump. But I'm going to pr- make a prediction. Watch in the next two weeks, Jamie, the, the, what happens in the black community and Hispanic community as the polls start to rise. Right. And, and, and suddenly everybody's talking about, well, because they're, they're saying black people don't like Donald Trump. Because there, there was one poll that they had, two states had him at 1% of the black vote. That is a statistical impossibility. He's not at 1%. But I just said, enjoy that. If you, if you believe that nonsense, enjoy it. Because I'm telling you, Trump is more popular with blacks. People do not want to admit that they we're still right now that they're going to vote for Trump. So forget the polls, all this other stuff. Watch as, as Hillary crumbles. You've seen the polls closing over the last two weeks. I've never did, where, where are they talking about Hillary's double digit lead anymore? No. no. Trump is practically at a statistical tie, and that's with them cooking the books. So just wait. And indeed, even in Florida, too. And, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where you know that there's something going on out there. And, you know, I love it's, I love the fact that Trump had the guts to say what he said to the black community because Absolutely. these other pansy Republicans like Romney were, would never go near it because they're just a bunch of white liberal guiltists, you know, well, as far as I'm look, concerned. The, the, every, everybody wants to believe that the, the blacks and Hispanics, especially blacks, are the sacred cows of the Democrats. And I like to say sacred cows make the best burgers. The <laughs> fact is, the, Donald Trump, said exactly what black people needed to hear. You've been getting pandered to. It's getting you nothing. And that's when I heard Richard Fowler say, well, black people are doing quite well in America. Really? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote you on that the next time you start your little victim session, because that's what's going to happen as soon as they, the, you know, the cycle begins again. The fact of the matter is black people needed to hear this. They also needed to hear it from a businessman so they could evaluate it, not from a politician, but from somebody who's done it. I, I, I say to all these leftists, go to New York, drive by Trump Plaza, drive, drive by anywhere Trump's got a property, and ask yourself, would you rather live where Obama community organized or anything that's got Trump's name on it? Just right where on. would you rather be? Perfect. You nailed it right there, buddy. Kevin Jackson at The Black Sphere, theblacksphere.net. Always great to talk to you, brother. Take care, brother. All right, it's Common Sense Radio. <laughs> 